Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Suzy Q Knickknacks Reseller. Before we begin, please hit that like and subscribe down at the bottom and share. And I will have links down below to my eBay store, where, which will have all these items for sale in my eBay store. And I'll have a link to my other channel, which is my cooking channel called Cooking with Mary Sue. On that channel, I do one video on the weekend, some type of recipe I think of. And on this channel, I usually do at least two. I may start doing three a week on reselling. And my husband has a channel. His link is down below. It's called Brother Claude Reflex. As I mentioned in my last video, we were going out of town for a couple of days. It was my birthday this past Tuesday. And the next day, my niece got married up in close to Jackson, Tennessee, which is about 150 miles from us. So we just stayed up there for two nights and then came back Thursday. And while we were traveling around, we stopped at three thrift stores. A Goodwill, a Salvation Army, and a City Thrift. All, the, all of which, each store was running sales. So everything I bought, I bought either 50 or 30% off, which was great. And I loaded it up. I've got enough inventory that's probably going to take me two months to list it, at least, almost. Which is kind of good for me because, like I said, we live out in a rural area. It's kind of far for me to go to a thrift store, at least a 30, 40 minute drive. So when I do go, I kind of load up if, it's, if stuff's on sale. We've got a minivan. When we bought that van back, it was loaded inside all the way to the ceiling. We couldn't get another thing in that, in that minivan. And I did pick up a lot more Christmas items. And I'm trying to get them listed first. I'm digging through my bags trying to find all the Christmas items. I want to get them in the store first to give people more time to look at them and give them time to get shipped out. And I got maybe a few things for Thanksgiving. Well, I'm going to get started here. I got a little bit of everything here. Some Christmas, some hard goods, some clothing, and some more clothing over here. A couple of things, or I picked up some new things at the thrift store that was tag on them, which I'm so glad for that. I like finding new items. Okay, where well, am I going to start first? Okay. Look at this cute, adorable little. It's by Olivia Miller. It's a little handbag, crossbody. Definitely Christmas. More likely it's for a little girl or a teenager. The back of it's a beautiful, beautiful, shiny, glittery, shiny. And it's got a little gingerbread man with a little broken foot. You know how gingerbread man is always breaking apart? Well, he just lost his foot right there. And it's a crossbody. Has a long strap on it with a chain. I thought that was just adorable for Christmas. I've got that listed already. I spent all of yesterday, all of Friday, just listing all day. First we got back, I was too tired to do a video then. So I listed Friday and today's Saturday. Trying to get back on track here. Alright, here's another little item. Um, this uh, handbag here with gingerbread, I think I paid a dollar for it. That was half price. And it, it sells around $18 and $20 mark. So a lot of these items are pretty good. Uh, with them getting half price, I'm going to make some nice profit on them when they sell. Here's another item, brand new and packaged, not open. It's an apple cake. That's definitely for, not necessarily Christmas, but winter time. A beautiful cardinal. Needlework with a 10 inch framing hoop. All together in a package, it's vintage. It's dated 1982. And yes, these sell pretty well on eBay. I paid 50 cents for this, and this would probably sell anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars. Who wouldn't like to turn 50 cents into 15? I do that all day. It doesn't matter to me if the profit's a little or a lot. I don't mind making 10 dollar profit. Of course, making 100 dollar profit's better, but a lot of little 10 dollar profits will add up to 100 dollar profit also. Here's something a little whimsical. A little skunk. I just thought he was adorable. He was in perfect shape. Nothing wrong with him. He only cost a dollar. And I just thought he was cute. I like little animals. I don't see many skunk items too often. He's got a little uh, spot there. You can put a few little flowers in there, I guess. A little bud vase or, yeah, keep, put some little artificial flowers right in front. would be nice right there. He was a uh, dollar, yeah, dollar fifty half price. And he, buy, he may go for 10 and twelve dollars when he sells. Okay. All right, here's a pair of Mikasa candlesticks, crystal candlestick colors. They still have the stickers on them right there. I love it when they have the stickers tell me what they are. Mikasa Slovenia. Paid $2 a piece for these. 
they will sell around $10 and $12 for the pair. And with Christmas coming up and the holidays, a lot of people like to put out candlesticks on the table to make it look dressy, make it look nice. That's why I picked these up and had two. If it had been just one, I wouldn't have bought it, but two I will. Here's an item that's definitely Thanksgiving. Kind of heavy. Gorgeous vintage turkey planter. He's a centerpiece planter. You can put either real or fake flowers inside. Put them out in the middle of the table. There's no marking on the bottom at all. Look, you couldn't find any marks on him. He's in perfect shape. Well, he's got one almost right there on the tail feather. There's a teeny tiny little flea bite. But once you get the flowers in there, that will cover that up. I thought he was just too gorgeous to leave behind. And I think I only paid about $2 for him is all. And he'll sell between $20 and $25. See, it's got a big slot in the back, big space for flowers. Now he's a little different. I looked up other turkey planters on eBay and most of them, the planter is open in the middle for the flowers. He's open in the back. I like that better. That way you can see his beautiful tail feathers. Okay, put him back over here. Now in my last video, I had this, I had this item sitting right next to me on the, on the counter here to show you and I totally forgot about it. When I turned the camera off, I looked down and he was still sitting there, I forgot. So I'm gonna show him now. He is a gorgeous little cookie jar. Nice and clean. He's He's got a little age to him. He's vintage looking. He's got a little wear on the bottom, but other than that, he's in good shape. I just loved it with that big fish right there in the mouth. He's called himself some dinner. He's got a little uh, pink handkerchief or kerchief scarf around his neck. Look at that gorgeous face right there. <laughs> he's called him some supper. And I've got him listed in my store. He'll probably sell Around the $25 to $28, maybe, maybe $30. Alrighty. Here's another cute little item. Ceramic or resin. It's kind of hard. I'm not sure what it's made me resin. But it's a little slice of cheese with four little mice. And you see, each mice is holding a piece of cheese. Each one is sitting in his own little seat, a little bench there. Now you wonder what these are. Each one's a cheese server, spreader. Yeah, each one's a little spreader. So this little piece of cheese has four spreaders in it. I thought that was just adorable. Here's a spot in front where they, they chopped off the cheese. That's where they're holding the cheese, where they cut it off right there. There's no uh, markings on this, no name. Not sure where it was made, but I thought that was just adorable. That was too cutely behind this little mice. And I think I paid only $1.50 for that. Now I've already got this listed in there. A little cheese my spreader. Okay. Now here's a new item in a box. Hadn't been used, but I got it at the thrift store. It's by Aller Ease. It's a waterproof, twin size, soft allergy, zippered mattress protector. Yep. Brand new, never been used in a box. A twin mattress protector. It zips around your whole mattress. Helps with allergies. Be great for kids that are allergic to things. It's also waterproof, so it's good if you have a bed wetter. It might help with that. And I bought this for two dollars, and they'll go around the twenty dollar mark for twin. I wish it'd been bigger. If it'd been bigger, it could it'd go for a little bit more than twenty. But that's still good. Turn two dollars into twenty, and it's brand new. Okay. Now here's some special items. Oh, these are a little bit heavy. Let me see. Hold on. Got to rearrange my stuff here. Okay. This is a set of five plates. I paid, they were five, marked $5.99. $5.99 and I got, I think, 20 or 30% off. It come up to being about a dollar a plate. So I paid $5 for five plates. And these on the back, they say the old meal made in England, Johnson Brothers, hand engraving. Okay. I looked these up on eBay and they sell very well. And in fact, the lady behind me when I was checking out with these, she saw these and without even looking at the name of them, she knew what they were. She said, oh, those are Johnson Brother plates. She said, you know, those will sell at least $10, $12 a piece. I thought that was great. Here it is, I paid $1 a piece and they're gonna sell 10 to 12 a piece. 
And I could probably even get a little more if I sell them all together in a lot. And they are gorgeous. See how pretty that is? Be pretty for fall, too. I haven't listened to these yet. I'll be listening to these in the next couple of days. And you see them all back. It says the Old Mill Johnson Brothers. And they're in perfect condition. I didn't even have to undo them. I could feel around the side all the way around. There's no chips. Hopefully no cracks when I open them up. But there's no chips on the edge at all. And I like it when they put, this is saran wrap. This is so much better. Some of the stores, when they put tape on there, you've got to be careful pulling that tape off because you can pull just a little bit of the paint off the item. But it's so much better when they use saran wrap. That won't pull any, any paint off. I wish all the thrift stores would do that. But they don't. Okay, that's that side taken care of. Here's a nice Christmas item I've got listed. There. This is a wall, just a wall hanging banner. It's some type of a needle point, a cruel, I'm not sure which. But it looks like it's all hand stitched. I measured it. It's counting the fringe at the bottom. It's 44 inches tall and 6 inches wide. Keep going. There's the bottom. There's the fringe. Yep. I thought that was just beautiful. I love anything that's handmade, hand embroidered, hand stitched. Somebody took a lot of time making this. I only paid a dollar for it. That was half price. And I've got it listed in my store. Okay. Now here's another, looks like a vintage old stocking. This is the type that's the front of its, uh, can't tell it's needlepoint, some type of needlepoint, but it's Santa Claus playing golf. That the stocking even looks like a golf sock. The back is just red velvet, solid, but that front, the G on the flag for I guess for golf. There he is. There's Santa playing golf. <laughs> I paid a dollar for this, and it's it'll go around the twenty twenty two dollar mark. Okay, now here's an item here. I've been doing some research on this item. I have, I'm having a little problem trying to figure out if it's vintage or antique. If anybody can help me with this, please do. Give me some ideas about this. It's a beautiful cabinet plate or wall plate. It has a hanging on the, hanging, hanger on the back of it. So you could hang it or you could take it off and put it in a cabinet. Now you see the mark on the back? It says France. Well, I looked, I got a couple of books that show different pottery and china marks. I could not find that mark in the book at all. So I'm not really sure how, how old this plate is. But look at that beautiful, beautiful portrait of that lady there. Isn't she gorgeous? I'm not sure if she's anybody important in history or just a beautiful lady that they chose to put on the plate. Now, I was lucky with this plate. I was walking down the aisle. Had my basket full of china and glasses and different things. And another customer walked by me. She looked at my basket. She said, I bet you will love this plate. Here, you can have this plate. She'd been carrying it around in her hand. She was going to put it back on the shelf. But she was sweet enough to hand it to me. I was so, so thankful. I thanked her a lot. And she said she didn't want it. So I bought it. And I got it for, I think, $2.50 or $2.99. Now, some of the other plates, I uh, can't find anything just like this on eBay, but other plates similar to this can go anywhere from $40 to $50, somewhere in there. I want to do a little bit more research on that market. Try to find out if it's vintage or antique, though. But if anybody knows about this, has any idea about who this is or that mark, please let me know. And it's not chipped or cracked. It's in beautiful shape, beautiful condition all the way around. Okay. I picked up several Christmas platters again. I guess I love shipping heavy things. Now this one's tin. It's an old tin pan, tin server, but I love the birds on it. And that can be used all winter. It's a cardinal and I think that's a blue jay. Around the edge is pine cones and green with gold pine cones. It's in nice condition, beautiful condition. The paint's in good shape. There's no scratches on it, no marks on it. The back shows very little wear at all. And it is 10. Now I'll pay a dollar for this. But it probably sell it probably sell between ten and twelve dollars. Anybody that loves birds would love this. 
Okay, now what? Here's another plate. This is a gorgeous oval Christmas platter. Got the old timey skaters and the little houses there. And the back of it says crafted in Japan. Doesn't say made in Japan, it says crafted in Japan. So you can see that back there. It has gold trim around the edges there. And it's in beautiful condition all the way around. I think I listed this one last night and that tin tray also. Now here's another really unusual platter. It's not really Christmassy, but it is different. When I saw this all the way across the aisle, I went straight toward it, picked it up fast as I could before anybody else picked it up. Look at that fish, that beautiful fish plate, ceramic plate. Looks like it's hand painted. This might be a hobbyist piece. If it is, she did a beautiful, beautiful job with the paint on there. Look at that blow, look at that fish. This kind of mice here might be what they call blowfish. Hmm, I'm not sure, but it's definitely a fish. And it's signed on the back and dated. I like that. Look there. The back says Sylvia Cooper 97. So this is definitely vintage. And it's in beautiful condition also. So if anybody would like a nice fish plate, just go look at my store for it right there. Okay. Put this over here. Hey, right. Back to buying stuff I know nothing about. This is new in package by Vermont American. That's the brand of it. It's a router guide brushing kit. Which I know nothing about routers. It's a wood crafting tool. This is not open. I paid $1.50 for it and these sell around the $20 mark on eBay. I've seen a few more on there and they do. They go for about $20. So here it is. I can turn my $1.50 into $20. And that'd be easy to ship. I can just stick it into a flat rate padded envelope. Uh, shipping fee be about a little less than $8. And that's it. That's something that definitely won't break. Now here's another really unusual item. Like I said, I pick up almost anything that I think I can resell for a profit. Doesn't matter if it's uh, vintage, antique, modern, or clothing, or hard goods, or whatever. Look at this. Now this is new with tag. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous helmet. It's a youth, youth size medium. It's by Fuller. It's got the DOT certification on the back of it. It's a motocross motorbike helmet. But look at the gorgeous paint job on that. And it still has the new tag on it. That's why I bought it. The uh, price on this tag says $99.95. Yep, this helmet originally sells for $100. I got it for, what's my discount? Let me see, I got the senior discount. I got it right around the $20 mark. Now, you usually don't pay that much for an item at a thrift store unless I know it's going to bring good profit. So I paid $20 for this, and I'm going to get close to $100. I think I listed it in my store for about $89. It said 99 on the tag, so I went a little bit lower to entice buyers for it. See? Gorgeous paint job on that. Yep, I got this in my store for $89.99, and I only paid about $20 for it. Hey. They had several more. They had about five of these at the store, but I didn't buy the others because they looked new. I'm sure they were all new, but they didn't have a tag. This one had the tag on it, so I bought this one. Because with the tag on something, you can usually ask for a little bit more for it. Now we got some shoes here. These are Nike Zoom X. These are running shoes. Look at that back of that heel where it points. I've never seen shoes like that before. They are called Nike Pegasus 35 Zoom X. They're sort of a grayish, uh, grayish green color in a way. They're in good condition. A little dusty. They're good all around. I think I paid five or six dollars for these, and they go around the fifty to sixty dollar mark. Okay, here's some more nice shoes I came across. Oh, oh that's a piece of wood, so it didn't break. So don't worry about that. I'll just show that on my next video, so I don't want to go way over there and pick it up. 
Here's a pair of Paulo Ralph Lauren boat shoes. Leather. The top of them's all leather. Look at the back. It says the polo emblem on the back. On the little side there, the polo emblem. They've got leather, leather shoelaces. They polo inside there. These are in good condition, great condition. And I think I paid about $10, $8 and $10 for these. But they'll go around the $40 and $45 mark. And they're a size 11 and a half D. Okay. Here are some great shoes I found here. My best pair I found, I think. Another pair of polo, but these are polo boots. Hiking boots, and water, they're waterproof. You can work them, I guess, work boots, hiking. They're like a chucker boot. They they lace up, but they also got a buckle here, right there. It says polo on it. And the soles are brand new. These things have, look like they've never been worn. In fact, I asked the lady about them at the store, and she said these have been donated. Lots of times they will donate, companies will donate new items to thrift stores that haven't sold, that maybe could be last year's stock they're getting rid of and they're donated for a write-off. You can tell these are a little perfect, perfect shape. Not one bit of dust on them. And I've got them listed in my store right now, around the $89 mark. And I paid $20 for them, but these go, even you like this, go between $80 and $100. I'm going to make a nice profit on these. Put these down here. Okay, back to Christmas a little bit. Here is a new Christmas tree skirt. Never been used. It's Jacqueline Smith collection. It's vintage. Uh, the design is called Winter Wishes 52 inch, which is kind of standard size for most trees, but it's lavender. Don't know if you can see it on there, but it is lavender. So, yeah, you can tell in the picture right there. That's the first time I've seen a lavender tree skirt. If anybody wants to be a little traditional, break. Break tradition, don't go with green or gold or red. Use a lavender. There's the edge of it. Beautiful silver edge. I pay, I think, three or four dollars for this. And it'll sell between 25 and 30. Okay. Ugh, it's sticking to me. Alright. Here's another unusual item here. This is a wooden plaque. And it's uh, in memory of two NASCAR race drivers, Alan Kowicki and Davey Allison. See that picture there? You can see what it says right there. In memory of. I'm assuming that's their race cars right there in the picture. Got this half price for $3. I'm expecting it might go between $30 and $40. There's a lot of NASCAR fans out there. I'm sure these two drivers were well loved. Ew, and it's also it's also ready to hang right there. No problem, just putting that up and sticking it up there on the wall. And I think this front here is loose side. It feels like loose side. It's not glass. So it'll be easy to ship. Alrighty, what else? One more pair of boots here. These are kind of heavy. They're, I thought they were black, but they kind of look navy in the light. The by service by Honeywell. These are workers' boot, workmen's boot. Uh, people in a industry, industrial area, plant, or even firemen. These are heavy, heavy boots. They're not. Well, nope. I don't think they're still tall, but they are heavy. But these are women's size five. I think I paid about three dollars for these half price, and they will go around the twenty twenty five dollar mark. Well, here's one more, more tray, a big tray. Now this is, this is tin, and it's vintage. I can tell by the look of it, it's a, is that hand painted? Let me see. Yeah. Try to tell if it's hand painted or, or transfer applique. Hmm. Okay. I haven't measured this yet. I think it was at least 16, 14, 16 inches across. I'll measure it when I list it, but it's in beautiful condition with the fruit all over it. It's all around it. It's got metal handles here. Kind of like they feel like they're brass or bronze handles. That's a big tray. I 
I'm thinking this might date back to the 60s or 70s, possibly. And with party time coming up, uh, some some family gatherings maybe, these trays come in handy to serve large people, large crowds. Okay, just a couple more clothes items and I'll be done. I picked up a couple of men's blazers. I like to find the blazers when they have the patches on the elbow. These sell very well. I've sold these before in my store. This one is by Paul Frederick. Let me see. Paul Frederick, and it's a 38 regular. It's a nice plaid or tweed. Four buttons down here. And it's got uh, front pockets. It's got pockets inside. That pocket button's right there. A few more pockets on this side in here. It's lined. And it has an unusual item, a very unusual neck up here. <laughs> collar. See, the collar folds down. You can wear it folded down like this, or you can bring it down around you and button it here. Pull it up straight, button it around your neck to keep you warm in the wintertime. I don't think I've seen a collar like this before. I'm sure it may have a name, but I'm not really sure what it's called. Let me button it here and show you. See? Your button it will look like this. Either way. I didn't notice that until I got at home was looking at it. Yep. Size 38 regular. I paid three dollars for this. That was half price. And it'll probably go around the forty dollar mark, forty to forty-five. A couple more jackets will be done. Here's another nice man's jacket. Now this is a corduroy, gray corduroy, and it's got Gray suede patches here on the elbow. Three buttons on the, the wrist. Front pockets. It's got inside pockets. Now, I thought it was unusual. This inside pocket zips right there. So that's handy. You put your wallet there so it doesn't get lost or stolen maybe by a pickpocket. You can zip it up. And there's three more, three more pockets on this side. This was brand is Woodmere. Let me find it. Yeah. That was Woodmere. And it says it's made in Poland. So you can read that. Made in Poland. And it's size 42 regular. I bought this for about $3 also. And I got listed uh, between somewhere between 45 and 50 Here's my last item. Now I got those two next. Almost last. Look at this gorgeous Dallas Cowboy jacket. Here's the back of it. See? Now this is a quarter zip pullover jacket. Yeah. It's got uh, just a quarter zip here. Goes partially down. Okay. And it's got two front Two front pockets right here. But see this right, this flap? You pull this flap up, it velcros in the middle. Pull this up, and you got a zipper pocket all the way across the front of your stomach there. You put all kinds of little stuff in there. And you got another front front side pocket right there. But I like this big pocket all the way across the front. There. And it zips under there. There it is. You can see the zipper good. Now, it did have a hood, or it's supposed to have a hood. It's got a the zipper under the collar back here for a hood to attach, but the hood was not with it when I bought it. Too bad. I wish it was. But it's still a nice puppy jacket. And it's a size large. 100% nylon. It's got somebody's name here. That's probably the person that owned it. Jack Roundsfield. Now, whoever buys this can easily just put white out over that, put their own name over it. Won't be any problem. I'm not going to cover it because I don't know if that person might be somebody famous. I have no idea. <laughs> I got this jacket half price for $10 and it'll probably sell between 40 and 45. They had two jackets there, two Dallas Cowboys. The other one was a leather jacket. I really wanted that one the most, but it had some paint spots all over it, so I didn't buy it. So I was a fool trying to get the paint off of it. Probably couldn't have. Okay. 
Now these two gorgeous sweaters back here, leggy sweaters. You can see this one here. Might leave that. That's a size 2X. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a rooster there. That has been embroidered on there. The bottom of it has flowers all across the bottom. Let me take it off so you can see the bottom of it. I had never seen a sweater with a rooster on it before. And I thought the, the handiwork on that was just gorgeous. The beadwork. Somebody took a lot of time doing that. Even the buttons are covered. Look at the little buttons. They have beads on the buttons and they've been covered in material. The bottom down here, see? The bottom has stitching all around it. Even the back, the bottom of the back has stitching down there. The back of the neck is, has stitching on it. I got this one half price for about $3. And it's a 2X. I'll be listing that later today or tomorrow. I haven't listed all my sweaters yet. Now, see this gorgeous thing here? It's a pullover lace. Let me see, is it two-piece? Nope. There's the front of it. There's the front. Beautiful, gorgeous blouse. Ladies blouse. But that beadwork, I saw this. I thought that is gorgeous for Christmas. Christmas party or just dressing up for the family or... Might want to wear it to church. But look at all the sequins and beads all over it. I thought that was just too pretty to leave there. And it zips up the back here. Right, yep. It zips up perfect. That's the back of it. This would be gorgeous with just a solid black skirt. Black velvet skirt or black pants. Black velvet either way. And it's a size two, um, 3X. That's even better. This, I'm not expecting this to stay in my store long once I list it. Get a close-up of that. And I got this half price. Let me see, I got my sticker on here. Five ninety eight. I paid half of that, $3. And it might bring, I'm thinking between $50 and $60 with all that beadwork on it. I bought a bunch more Christmas sweaters. Some are vintage, some are not. I think my next video, I'll be showing all the Christmas sweaters. I put them all together. I'm still trying to unpack the Christmas stuff, trying to find it all. But my next video will be uh, in a few days, maybe Tuesday. And I'll be showing more Christmas items in. I want to call this a wrap. Tomorrow, I'll be doing my cooking video. Like I said, all the links are below to my other channel to my husband's channel, to my eBay store. Please check out my eBay store. It's called Suzy Q Knickknacks. I hope y'all have a nice day, good weekend. Hope the rest of the week is great for you like it was for me. And I will end it right here. Be back with y'all later. Bye for now. God bless.